Pat, so right before you, uh, your phone died on you there, not not before you dropped it, and uh, but before you, I'd asked you what what was your thoughts on CrossFit, CrossFit, uh, you know, softly, tactical athlete, some of these different programs that are out there uh, that guys are jumping on and and, uh, and and doing at least doing something. Well, um, oh man, this is slippery slope shit because a lot of guys are in love with the system, you know. But once again, telling a guy how to work out is like telling him how to. Run. We're having some technical technical difficulties. It's got, it's got nothing to do with the beer. Trust me. Nothing. nothing. Yo, Bill. While we're kind of filling the gap, um, here's here's kind of my opinion on it. It depends on the individual. And as a general rule, you're going to see the guys that frequent the PNS forums are going to be your type A's. And for them, it's most likely a horrendous idea because they're going to get too competitive, too into it. They're just going to push themselves too far to the edge versus your type B housewife is probably perfect for it because they need that push and they need that social environment. And that's the big thing with a lot of those programs. It's it's the social environment more than anything else. You good now, Pat? I think he's taping the fucking thing up. <laughs> I can't hear you. Uh, something's up with your mic. I don't know if your phone got muted or if you got mo muted when it dropped. He put tape over the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, it shows you're muted, man. And I think I did it to you by accident. So it said Bill Blower's muted, Pat Mac. What the fuck over? How did I do that? Yes. That, when I got muted, you muted me too, and I was like, oh, I guess, okay, cool, I'll just go home. But. I, I did you on purpose because there was feedback, but I don't know how, why the fuck I did Pat. <laughs> hey, Pat, if you hover over your fucking face down there, you should be able to get a little bar that pops up, and it says profile ignore muted, and you know, click the mute button and it should undo you so you can we can hear you. <laughs> God damn it. Pat needs to eat some more carrots for his eyes. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. You're back, baby. Is he? No. No, he's fucking, he's fucking muted. You're still muted, Pat. Put him on, Pat. Huh? I thought I could fucking unmute him. Hey, Prime, huh? listen and unmute Pat, him. what are you doing? It's not the beer. <laughs> <laughs> See that, fellas? That's what you drink for sit rep. Yeah, we, yeah. You know, hey, we got the brains in the family to come do it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so All right, I think you're good now, Pat. All right, so back on to that question about the. Uh, the can stuff. you guys hear him? No. Nope. nope. Can't hear you. I can hear him. She got you. You're unmuted now, but I still can't hear you. You can hear him, Lane. Yeah. Fuck, maybe it's my shit. No, I can't hear him either. I'm good. Talk, Pat. I, I'm talking. God damn it. No? Yeah, I got him. I think you're the only guy that can hear him, Lane. Cause not, can you hear him, Jerk? <laughs> no. I can't hear shit. Hold on. No, I don't have anything either. Now it's muted. Now it's muted. Now it's unmuted. Unmuted. Got nothing. I don't know if you maybe got it. What's you guys yeah, somebody's um, got it. <laughs> Look at that, Rebecca. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Pat, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, you hey, Pat, maybe log out and come back in, man. Sorry. Hey, right. Fucking not yeah, working. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on. That she said you guys could run this thing. Yeah, fuck, I know, right? That's what, that's what happens when you don't have uh, Wix or Prime in here. You got my dumb ass trying to do it. I'm, I'm worse than Pat with the technology shit, too. So, uh, man, I'll tell you, I, I, uh, one of my, uh, well, several of my teammates got into the CrossFit shit, and uh, one of them ended up owning a gym, and I, I fucking hate it, man. I, it's, you know, the, the point of pride of, you know, carrying calluses off and, uh, you know, puking in the gym and shit like that. I was like, man, this is fucking dumb. I, it's just stupid. Um I didn't see the benefit of it at all. Uh, I agree with you, though, Nate. I think the social aspect of it is probably a good thing, but I hate that shit. I, I like the fact that I'm the only dude 
in the PD gym when I work out every morning. Um, when I get into work, man, I you know I, I like about being in there by myself to just uh, do what the fuck I want to do and not have to talk to motherfuckers or listen to their stupid music or whatever the fuck they got going on. All right. Am I on? Right. Hey, we got you, Pat. We're good to go. Right, because I, I, I really want to talk this piece. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> because I... Uh, all right, so, anyway, those trendy-style uh, workouts have done a lot for uh, the community as far as uh, physical fitness goes. However, once again, trendy-style trendy style workouts have also created a lot of... Of injury, and uh, they they don't promote. There's no consideration of that self-preservation. It's very herky jerky, and it targets a narrow demographic. In addition, it is the epitome of outcome-based training. How many? How much? How fast? Execution with consideration of the consequence. Will I succeed or will I fail? I did my. I ran my uh, CST operations out of a CrossFit gym for five years. And what I saw people doing was um, getting good at exercising. You know, it, 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 was, it was just that. Uh, they were the fittest in the world in CrossFit. Um, and uh, I did not need to know how to do the, the right way to do an exercise wrong. Because um, that's what they're teaching guys. Hey, here's the right way to do an exercise incorrectly. Um, and it seemed like they were always at that gym that I went to is always at at least 50% deficit with at least 50% of the membership hurt in one way or another. And um, guys will capitulate to the whiteboard. They'll be subservient to that whiteboard regardless of whether or not they did the same kind of motion the day before. They will look at the whiteboard and say, well, the board is telling me to do it. Therefore, I must capitulate. I'm going to be subservient to the board and do whatever the fuck it says, regardless of whether or not I'm going to get jacked up. And it just it wasn't logical to me at all, you know, because I would build completely relevant uh, alternatives to the fucked up shit that they were doing, um, whether it was replication of effort from the day before or just over uh, emphasizing a particular repetition. Of one exercise, I'm like, man, you're gonna get, you, you're gonna be incapacitated for the weekend. You, you, you've got to. When you leave a gym, you still got to be able to kick somebody's ass. If you're doing 150 fucking reps of one particular exercise, you're not gonna be able to kick somebody's ass when you leave this freaking gym. You know, especially if you've got a family, if you've got a wife and kids. You know, you're the based on. I'm, I'm kind of um, quoting myself from my Sentinel book, but you're the agent in charge of your own executive protection detail. And you've got to be ready to, to protect those who you love. Um, it, it, and, you know, I would, I would have guys leave the gym with, uh, with freaking calluses rubbed off of their hands and big freaking bloody hands. It's like, dude, that's not a badge of honor. That's a sign of stupidity. Are you freaking kidding me? It, it, it was mind freaking boggling, man. So I, 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 I developed a kind of almost disdain for that whole CrossFit environment. Um, damn, man, it, it really freaking irks me watching people do that. I mean, I think it's a great, it's probably a great way to get into it maybe. And I know it depends on the CrossFit gym you're going to because some, some have better coaches and mentors than others and some, and some will encourage guys to scale shit. But um, it, it promotes, it doesn't promote, it doesn't promote fitness. It's the antithesis of fitness, in my opinion. Uh, and I know that it, it's done a lot of good for the uh, for uh, the community as far as physical fitness. Those kind of trendy workouts, and and they're all the same, by the way. They're all, all the military fitness, CrossFit, all that stuff. They're all outcome based training. How many? How much? How fast? Execution with consideration of the consequence. Um, there's not much of a difference. Only some last ten minutes, and some last an hour and a half. Who, who has an hour and a half to work out anyway? An hour and a half? Are you freaking kidding me? Who has that time? I don't have that kind of disposable time. Anyway, it just drives me crazy, and it's it's uh, it's never ending. Yeah, it's it, it, it's gonna it's 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 a, it's like a self feeding machine now where people are signing on to it to be a part uh, a part of the cult. 
Yep, uh, your point's valid, dude. Uh, they kick ass and take care of the family, uh, but I've, you know, as a, my team does not have a rotation, so I'm 24/7 uh, on the pager all the time, uh, and I've always thought that too, right? That uh, the times I have done CrossFit and you leave there uh, feeling like a, a big blob of jello, I'm thinking, fuck, I hope we don't get called out right now. Right. Um, you know, how am I going to do my fucking job? And then, uh, but I see dudes do that too. They'll come in pre-shift or they'll go to the, the CrossFit gym pre-shift and they come in, you know, all smoked out. And I'm like, dude, you got 10 hours, you got 10 hours of fucking work to go. And you don't know what the call is going to be that you're going to go to right out of the gate. Got to use your fucking head a little bit sometimes with that shit, man. Yeah. Yep. You know, build it off what uh, Bill said earlier is if you can't work out on your own and have one of the best workouts of your life, Chances are you need to reevaluate why you're even training in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, man, I prefer it. So, uh, Pat had a question uh, from from a guy who wants to know what kind of uh, pre workout or energy drink or uh, supplements do you take uh, to maintain your incredible physique? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> I take it. <laughs> okay, the incredible physique. I made that part up, but he did ask about the part. <laughs> I, I tell you, I have a couple. I have a couple secrets. Number one, uh, quart of water when you wake up in the morning. So full Nalgene bottle. It, 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 my wife pours it for me even now, uh, but it's been a way of life for me for the past uh, maybe 15 years. So as soon as you wake up in the morning, you take that piss, a quart of water, right down the freaking gullet. Full Nalgene bottle, right down. Um, another one is I like to eat several times a day, and I'm always a little bit hungry. That's just my personal thing. I'm not sure it's if, if it's any if it's any in any diet book, but I always like to be a little bit hungry and never freaking full ever ever. Um, and then is is I like to cheat, you know, as far as food goes, because I like to eat, but um, as as much real food as possible. And as little freaking bullshit as possible. Um, I mean, uh, and uh, the other thing is, on certain days like power, strength, and hypertrophy day in the gym, uh, as clean of a protein shake as you could find. You know, very, with, uh, low sugar, all that stuff, uh, high gram protein. And on like a muscular development day, you're eating while you work out uh, on those particular days uh, because. If you're working out correctly, your muscles are going to crave that food while you are uh, exercising. And then you got to avoid those those late nights, you know, those late nights that, yeah, I drank some beers, let me freaking order a pizza or um, snack on this. Um, a lot of times, uh, my wife and I, if we get to that point, we'll, um, we'll chomp on some uh, veggies or make a, make a uh, meat and veg stir fry late at night instead of... Um, instead of opening a box of some kind of crap. But it's it's extremely freaking easy, man. There's no there's no there's no magic cookbook for that. Eat, eat eat right and yeah. Yep. Yep. Eat right and, and uh, a lot of freaking water. And of course the older you get to your uh, the fiber intake has to uh, ha you've got to up the fiber intake. Um, I've been big on the, the bullet shakes recently too for the past year or so. My wife got me into that where you know I'm throwing a, a kale salad mix into the bullet with some frozen blueberries and a banana and some um, some juice that's whole juice and not uh, not a cocktail, and then um, throwing that down the gullet as well just to hold me between one small meal to the next. Ooh, a kale shake. That's sassy. Yeah, it's pretty sassy. It's pretty trendy. Yeah, it's sassy. Thank you. I appreciate it. You did, say, you did say I got him into it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I heard it. I heard it. No, I think the, yes. the, the being a little bit hungry all the time, I think, uh, is one of the things that, that helps keep you, uh, keep you a little bit lean, right? Even if you're... Uh, I mean, you're having some beers once in a while, kind of a deal. So yeah, yeah, they have, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I guess yep. I've kind of done that my whole fucking life, right? I mean, I'm my, I, you know, my, my power drink in the morning is a cup of Joe, uh, and then I have a fucking banana uh, before I work out, and that's about it. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just one of those. I think, hey, Nate, didn't you just post an article about getting lean and and that wasn't, wasn't that uh, whoever the fuck that guy was? He was saying that shit, right? You got to pretty much, uh, you feel like you're hungry most of the time, or some level of hunger. 
Cool. Yeah, and that's that's kind of the conclusion we've come to is that you should you should be a little bit hungry throughout the day for the most period. Um, and a lot of stuff that I've been playing with the last couple of years has been, you know, maybe you only eat once or twice a day and you're just kind of getting that borderline ketosis type thing, which is going to keep you more cognitively um, in there. You may be able to get a little bit better into the, the fat stores uh, for your energy sources. So it just kind of depends on the individual. There's some people, like, they just have really bad metabolic flexibility and they have to eat, you know, every five seconds. Um, and that's kind of your, your typical, like, fat check, you know, is they're, they're typically always eating. Versus the skinny guy is just kind of like, yeah, just give me a big dinner and I'm, I'm usually good. Or I'll have, you know, uh, protein in the morning and protein for, for lunch and then a huge dinner or something like that. So it just kind of depends on the individual. But I find that the the more you get towards that, a little bit hungry throughout the day, um, you know, just snacking on your vegetables and your fruit and, and things like that versus, you know, your cupcakes and crackers, uh, the better off you're going to be. But to kind of go with that, like, it's like the point of contention in especially like the athlete, uh, you know, versus, you know, non-athlete dietary stuff. There doesn't seem to be a huge difference between like the two or three meals or like the nine meals a day thing. But I know one thing that if, if you if you use a performance-based and you use, um, you know, that kind of deductive reasoning, you know, eating every couple hours or, or fairly often, there's never a point during the day when you are, multiple, numerous hours away from your food source. So the chances of you, you know, having to work out, having to train, having to go to practice, or for getting in a physical altercation, that sort of thing, without having, um, you know, the fuel in the body is is definitely decreased. And I think that's kind of a, for me, that's a no-brainer to eat fairly regularly throughout the day and not stray too far away from your, your fuel source. 